The fifth anniversary of the Russian-Georgian five-day war was marked in Georgia on Thursday. A wreath-laying ceremony took place in Tbilisi at the graves of Georgian soldiers killed during the 2008 war. In Tiskan Valley, people placed flowers in memory of victims and lit candles representing those who died during the war. This bitter and painful war just lasted five days, a conflict where neither side got what it wanted. On August the 8th, 2008, after years of growing tensions between Russia and Georgia and days of clashes, Georgia launched the war to recapture the breakaway region of South Ossetia, violating an earlier ceasefire agreement. Most of the 150,000 people who fled their homes five years ago have yet to return, despite the ceasefire. After the five-day war, Moscow recognized the independence of South Ossetia and Georgia's other separatist region, Abkhazia, as independent states. Relations between Russia and Georgia remain tense, but are easing step by step. Trade relations have resumed. Russia and Georgia are planning to restore direct flights and introduce a simplified visa process. The mutual accusations about who was responsible for the conflict remain. The inevitability of the Georgian-Russian war could have been avoided only under one condition, in which Georgia would have become a failed state and agreed to Russia's demands, not in 2008 or 2007, but starting from 2004 or even at the end of 2003. Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, president at the time of the conflict, does not regret his decision. I tell you this, I made this decision and I believe it was the only right thing to do in that particular situation. The Georgian television audience was disappointed by the interview given by the leader who ordered the military invasion. A fence between South Ossetia and Georgia, erected by Russian border guards, prevents movement from one region to the other.